Susan George was the rising star who found herself in the middle of a cinematic storm, and when she took on her role in Straw Dogs, she was ready for stardom, but not for the controversy that would come with it. The film's most infamous scene led to public outrage. From media backlash to censorship battles, this story has it all. Introduction to Susan George She was born on July 26, 1950, in Surbiton, Surrey, England. She grew up with a passion for acting. By age 12, she had already begun her career in television. George attended the Corona Theatre School, which set the stage for her future success. Her early roles included appearances in British television series like The Saint, 1964, and Z Cars, 1965. These roles showcased her talent and versatility. In 1969, she landed a significant role in the film Twinkie, opposite Charles Bronson. This film, also known as Lola in the United States, was a stepping stone that brought her more attention. The breakthrough came in 1971 with Straw Dogs, directed by Sam Peckinpah. The film's intense nature and controversial themes made it a hot topic even before its release. Peckinpah, known for his work on The Wild Bunch, wanted a raw and realistic portrayal. He cast George for her ability to convey vulnerability and strength. Peckinpah's direction was known to be demanding. He aimed to push his actors to their limits to achieve authentic performances. Her portrayal of Amy was pivotal to the film's impact. During production, tensions were high. The filming location in Cornwall added to the isolated and tense atmosphere. Despite the pressure, George delivered a performance that would define her career. She later recalled the experience as challenging but rewarding, noting, it was the toughest role I've ever played. Overview of Straw Dogs Straw Dogs is based on the novel The Siege of Trencher's Farm by Gordon Williams. The film stars Dustin Hoffman as David Sumner, an American mathematician, and Susan George as his English wife, Amy. The couple moves to a remote village in Cornwall, seeking peace and quiet, but instead finds themselves in a violent and escalating conflict with the local men. The plot centers around the couple's attempts to adjust to their new life. David's passive and intellectual nature contrasts sharply with the rough and aggressive local men. Amy, who grew up in the village, finds herself caught between her husband's passive demeanor and the locals' hostility. A pivotal point in the film is the infamous rape scene. Amy is assaulted by two of the local men, Charlie Venner, played by Del Henny, and Norman Scutt, Ken Hutchison. This scene is graphic and disturbing, intended to shock and provoke strong reactions from the audience. Peckinpah's decision to include such explicit content was highly controversial and became the focal point of criticism. Peckinpah was known for his violent and gritty filmmaking style. He believed in depicting violence in a raw and unfiltered manner, aiming to provoke thought and discussion. In an interview, he said, Violence is one of the most terrifying things we experience as human beings. I want to show it as it is, in all its ugliness. The film's climax involves a siege on the couple's home by the locals, which turns into a brutal and bloody confrontation. David, who had been portrayed as non-violent and intellectual, becomes increasingly aggressive and violent as he defends his home and wife. This transformation is central to the film's narrative and themes, exploring the thin line between civilization and savagery. Upon its release, Straw Dogs received a mixed reception. Some critics praised it for its daring and uncompromising portrayal of violence and human nature. Roger Ebert, a well-known film critic, described it as a major work by an important director. However, others condemned it for its graphic content and perceived misogyny. Despite the controversy, Straw Dogs was a commercial success. It grossed over $8 million in the U.S. and had a significant cultural impact. The film's intense and realistic portrayal of violence influenced many subsequent films and directors. It also sparked debates about the representation of violence and women in cinema, discussions that continue to this day. Straw Dogs remains a significant film in Susan George's career and in the history of cinema. It exemplifies Peckinpah's unique vision and approach to filmmaking, pushing the boundaries of what was acceptable on screen. Casting and Production The casting of Straw Dogs was a critical step in bringing Sam Peckinpah's vision to life. Dustin Hoffman was already an established actor, known for his roles in The Graduate and Midnight Cowboy. For the role of David Sumner, Peckinpah sought someone who could portray an intellectual yet passive character, fitting Hoffman's profile perfectly. For the role of Amy Sumner, 
Peckinpah needed an actress who could convey both vulnerability and resilience. Susan George, who had already built a reputation with her performances in films like All Neat in Black Stockings, 1969, was selected. Her ability to portray complex emotions made her an ideal choice. George later recalled her initial meeting with Peckinpah, stating, Sam was intimidating but incredibly compelling. He had a clear vision for the film and the characters. The production of Straw Dogs began in late 1970 in the rural village of St. Burry in Cornwall. The choice of location was crucial in creating the film's isolated and tense atmosphere. The village's remote setting added to the sense of claustrophobia and escalating tension that permeates the film. Peckinpah's directing style was notoriously intense and demanding. He was known for pushing his actors to their limits to achieve the raw and realistic performances he desired. During the filming of Straw Dogs, this approach was evident. George recalled the physically and emotionally taxing nature of the shoot. She mentioned in an interview, It was one of the most challenging experiences of my career. Sam demanded absolute authenticity, which often meant multiple takes of emotionally draining scenes. The infamous rape scene was particularly grueling to film. Both George and Del Henny, who played Charlie Venner, found the experience difficult. Peckinpah insisted on multiple takes to capture the scene's harrowing intensity. The director's relentless pursuit of realism led to considerable strain on the actors. George later described it as a nightmare to film, emphasizing the emotional toll it took on her. Despite these challenges, the cast and crew were committed to bringing Peckinpah's vision to life. Hoffman's dedication to his role as David Sumner was evident in his performance. He immersed himself in the character, capturing the transformation from a passive intellectual to a man driven by violence. George's portrayal of Amy was equally compelling, showcasing her ability to navigate the complexities of a character caught in a horrific situation. The production was not without its controversies. Peckinpah's abrasive style led to conflicts on set. Reports of tension between the director and cast were common. However, these conflicts were often seen as part of Peckinpah's method, pushing everyone involved to deliver their best performances. The filming wrapped in early 1971, leaving the cast and crew exhausted but hopeful that their efforts would pay off. The intense and challenging production process resulted in a film that was raw, realistic, and unlike anything seen before. The rape scene controversy, the rape scene in Straw Dogs is one of the most controversial moments in film history. It involves Amy Sumner, played by Susan George, being assaulted by two local men, Charlie Venner, Del Henny, and Norman Scutt, Ken Hutchison. This scene is graphic, brutal, and deeply disturbing, and it became the focal point of much of the film's criticism and controversy. Filming this scene was extremely challenging for the actors involved, Susan George later spoke about the emotional and physical toll it took on her. She described the experience as harrowing and recalled Peckinpah's insistence on multiple takes to capture the raw intensity he wanted. George's performance was pivotal as it needed to convey the complex emotions of fear, violation, and the subsequent psychological impact on her character. Peckinpah's approach to filming the scene was methodical and uncompromising. He believed in depicting violence in a way that was unflinchingly realistic. In an interview, Peckinpah explained his perspective. I wanted the audience to feel the horror and brutality of what was happening. It was never about sensationalism, it was about truth. The immediate reaction to the rape scene was one of shock and outrage. Critics and audiences were divided. Some saw it as a powerful and necessary portrayal of violence and its consequences, while others condemned it as gratuitous and exploitative. Feminist groups in particular were vocal in their criticism, arguing that the scene perpetuated harmful and misogynistic views. The controversy extended beyond the United States, with several countries either banning the film outright or demanding significant cuts. Susan George, in later interviews, reflected on the impact of the scene on her career and personal life. She acknowledged the controversy, but also defended Peckinpah's vision. It was a difficult experience, but it was a part of a larger story about violence and its impact. I don't regret doing it, but it was incredibly tough, she stated. Media backlash and public reaction. The release of Straw Dogs in 1971 ignited a firestorm of media backlash and public outrage. Major newspapers and film critics weighed in, with opinions ranging from high praise to outright condemnation. 
The New York Times called it a brilliant but savagely controversial work, while Time magazine labeled it a revolting experience. One of the most notable critics was Pauline Kael of The New Yorker, who was particularly harsh in her assessment. She described the film as a celebration of violence and misogynistic. Kale's review captured the sentiment of many who felt that the film crossed ethical boundaries. Her influential voice added significant weight to the criticism against straw dogs. Public reaction was equally divided. In some areas, audiences walked out of screenings, unable to stomach the film's intensity. Protests were organized by feminist groups and other organizations who were outraged by the depiction of sexual violence. These groups argued that the film was not only insensitive, but also harmful in its portrayal of women. The UK press covered the controversy extensively, with headlines such as A Film That Shocks a Nation and Straw Dogs Art or Atrocity. Susan George, caught in the center of the storm, faced intense media scrutiny. Interviews and articles frequently focused on her role in the controversial scene. She defended her participation, stating, it was a challenging role, but I believed in the story Sam was trying to tell. It was about the horrors of violence, not a glorification of it. Sam Peckinpah also faced the brunt of the backlash. Known for his uncompromising vision, he defended the film passionately. In a rare public statement, he said, Violence is a part of our world, and pretending it doesn't exist is naive. Straw Dogs forces us to confront that reality, however uncomfortable it may be effect on Susan George's career. Before Straw Dogs, George had already made a mark in the industry with roles in films like All Neat in Black Stockings, 1969, and Twinkie, 1969. However, her performance in Straw Dogs was a double-edged sword. The role showcased her talent and range, but the controversy surrounding the film's explicit content overshadowed her work. In the immediate aftermath of the film's release, George found herself at the center of intense media attention. Interviews often focused more on the controversial rape scene than on her overall performance or career. This relentless focus was both a burden and a boost. On one hand, it kept her in the public eye. On the other, it pigeonholed her in a very specific and controversial light. The public's divided reaction to Straw Dogs influenced the type of roles George was offered. Some filmmakers and producers were hesitant to cast her due to the controversy, fearing backlash or negative associations. Others, however, were drawn to her newfound notoriety and the intense performances she had proven capable of delivering. In 1974, George starred in Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry, a film that capitalized on her reputation for playing bold and daring characters. The film, which also starred Peter Fonda, was a commercial success and further solidified her standing as a leading actress in the action and thriller genres. George's portrayal of Mary Coombs, a free-spirited woman on the run, was well-received and demonstrated her versatility. Another notable role came in 1975 with Mandingo, a film set in the antebellum South. George played Blanche Maxwell, a complex character embroiled in the brutal realities of slavery and racial tension. The film was controversial for its graphic content and themes, echoing some of the challenges George faced with Straw Dogs. Despite mixed reviews, her performance was noted for its intensity and commitment. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, George continued to work steadily in both film and television. She appeared in movies like A Small Town in Texas, 1976, and The House Where Evil Dwells, 1982, as well as TV series such as Rich Man, Poor Man, 1976. Her career was marked by a willingness to take on challenging and diverse roles, showcasing her range as an actress. Despite the professional successes, the shadow of straw dogs lingered. George often had to address the film and its impact in interviews and public appearances. She maintained a balanced perspective, acknowledging the difficulties but also recognizing the doors they opened. In a later interview, she reflected, It was a tough period but it made me stronger. It pushed me to prove myself in ways I never imagined. By the late 1980s, George began to shift her focus towards producing. She co-founded a production company with her then-husband, actor Simon McCorkendale. This move allowed her to have more control over her projects and explore different aspects of the industry. Their company produced several successful television films and series, further cementing her versatility and resilience legal and censorship issues.
Straw Dogs encountered significant legal and censorship challenges, both during and after its release. In the United Kingdom, the British Board of Film Classification, BBFC, was particularly stringent. The BBFC demanded multiple cuts before granting the film an X certificate, which allowed it to be shown in theaters but restricted viewership to adults only. The cuts primarily focused on reducing the explicitness of the rape scene. Despite these edits, the film still faced considerable opposition from local councils, some of which imposed additional bans in their jurisdictions. The controversy extended beyond the UK. In the United States, the Motion Picture Association of America, MPAA, initially rated the film X, which was synonymous with pornography at the time. Sam Peckinpah and the film's producers argued for a reclassification, leading to further cuts. Eventually, the film was re-rated R, allowing it a broader audience but still emphasizing its mature content. Australia was another country where straw dogs faced severe censorship. The Australian Classification Board initially banned the film outright due to its violent and sexual content. It wasn't until 1994 that a heavily cut version was allowed for home video release, and the uncut version wasn't legally available until 2003. In Sweden, the film was banned outright and was not released until many years later, following extensive public and critical debate. Similarly, in Norway, straw dogs faced a ban, reflecting the country's strict policies on film censorship during that period. Legal battles ensued in several countries as distributors and filmmakers fought against these bans. They argued that straw dogs was a work of art that portrayed violence to critique it rather than to exploit it. In some cases, these arguments were successful, leading to the eventual release of the film in its original form, albeit often years later. In Ireland, the film faced one of its longest bans, remaining unavailable until 2002. The Irish Film Censor's Office cited the graphic nature of the film and its potential to cause public harm as reasons for the prolonged ban. This decision was reflective of Ireland's conservative stance on film censorship during much of the 20th century. The legal and censorship issues surrounding straw dogs highlighted broader debates about the role of film in society. Critics of the bans argued that censorship stifled artistic expression and prevented important societal issues from being explored through cinema. Proponents, however, maintained that the graphic content of Straw Dogs was harmful and unnecessary. Susan George and Sam Peckinpah were frequently drawn into these debates. Peckinpah, in particular, was vocal about his disdain for censorship. He argued that straw dogs was a necessary examination of human violence and that sanitizing it would undermine its message. Susan George's Perspective Her perspective on straw dogs has evolved over the years, reflecting a nuanced understanding of her role in the film and its lasting impact. In various interviews, she has spoken candidly about her experiences during production and the aftermath of the film's release. During the filming of Straw Dogs, George was only 20 years old. The role of Amy Sumner was a significant opportunity for her, both challenging and demanding. George has often recalled the intensity of working with Sam Peckinpah, describing him as a brilliant but complex director. In a 2003 interview, she noted, Sam had a vision, and he was relentless in pursuing it. It was tough, but it pushed me to deliver a performance I'm proud of. The infamous rape scene was particularly traumatic for George. She has acknowledged the emotional and physical toll it took on her, both during filming and afterward. Despite the controversy, George has maintained that the scene was crucial to the film's narrative. It was a harrowing experience, but it was essential to the story Sam was trying to tell. It wasn't gratuitous, it was about the brutal reality of violence, she stated in a 1998 interview. In the years following the film's release, she found herself typecast in roles that echoed the intensity and controversy of Amy Sumner. She has spoken about the difficulty of navigating this period in her career. After Straw Dogs, I had to be selective about my roles. I didn't want to be pigeonholed, but I also didn't want to shy away from challenging parts, she noted in a 1985 interview. Despite these challenges, George continued to work in film and television, taking on diverse roles that showcased her range as an actress. She has credited Straw Dogs with giving her the resilience and determination needed to navigate the ups and downs of her career. It was a turning point. It taught me a lot about strength, both on and off the screen, she remarked in a 1995 interview. 
reappraisal of straw dogs. Over the years, straw dogs has undergone significant reappraisal by critics and scholars. What was once seen as a purely controversial and polarizing film has been re-examined and often re-evaluated in the context of its artistic merits and social commentary. In the decades following its release, Straw Dogs became a subject of academic study. Film scholars began to explore its themes of violence, masculinity, and power dynamics in greater depth. The film's portrayal of escalating violence and the breakdown of social order has been analyzed through various theoretical lenses including feminism, psychoanalysis, and cultural studies.